This is Ford's new electric drive unit production line, which is being built at their gearbox factory in Halewood. Once complete, the line will produce 400,000 electric motor and transmission units that will go into their electric vehicles like the Transit and Puma. As a global company, Ford needed to locate this strategically important facility in the best possible location. With the help of a grant from the UK government's Automotive Transformation Fund, Ford was able to develop a business case that showed that Halewood in the United Kingdom was the best place in Europe to build it. We were in the position to be able to look at our facilities in the UK and determine how they could be the best facilities within Ford of Europe to produce e-drives and we selected our Halewood site which was a transmission site and we worked with them through an ATF feasibilities <laughs> competition to develop a case for them to become the best place in Europe for us to do that. So against the competition of plants in Germany and Spain and other places like that, why would we do this in the UK? And we developed a really strong case for that using the ATF funding. Um, and on top of that, also uh, identified that we would be eligible for further ATF funding, a full uh, investment grant to, to support the facility in Howard. And that was a winner. It managed to, to get us to the point where we could uh, confidently predict that this would be the best place to make e-drives for, for our vehicles in Europe. Ford UK had already developed world-leading expertise in the manufacture of electric drive units as part of an earlier Advanced Propulsion Centre supported R&D project called E-Prime. As part of this project, Ford built a pilot production line, which helped Ford UK become a centre of excellence in e-drive manufacturing engineering. This expertise reinforced the business case for the electric drive units to be built in the UK. Ford could have done this anywhere, um, you know, so, so it's a real testament to, to the UK and, and, and Howard that, uh, that we were selected for this piece of work. And I think it's also testament to the to the team that started this through the APC and E-Prime and so on, and the benefits to the local community and Ford UK and in the UK as a whole um, is significant. The ATF grant de-risked the investment business case for Halewood, provided scale-up readiness validation and contributed to the capital expenditure. This gave Ford the confidence to invest £380 million of its own money in the production of electric drive units at Halewood. With a, an ATF capital intervention, they elected to build a plant that would build a quarter of a million EDUs a year and subsequently have decided to double down on that investment and will now plan to produce over 400,000 EDUs a year from that plant, all of them for export into their operations worldwide, demonstrating the UK's competitiveness in this space. Again, solely as a result of an ATF intervention. We announced that extra 125 million of spend later on, but we couldn't have done it without that initial business case being secured through the ATF grant. So it's, um, that, was, that was fundamental for us. The Automotive Transformation Fund is administered by the Advanced Propulsion Centre, which is a partnership between government and industry. This approach makes the process very transparent, efficient and fair to all involved. Working with government you know, together to create the best business case. Working with the APC in particular on the, on the ATF and the pre-work for the ATF, having a transparent process that we took our social partners through, our union partners as well, that was a real advantage for us because it was a very objective assessment, yeah, and that allowed us to make a selection that everybody understood, yeah, and um, everybody understood the potential benefits associated with that. Working with the APC allowed Ford to be introduced to a broad network of government and industry partners that are able to add significant long-term value. The APC project brought us into a great network of people in the UK who understand that. So people like the Welding Institute, some of our supply partners like JW Froelich, all people that we met through the process of doing an APC project that we wouldn't have actually had the opportunity to work with had we not been in this collaborative environment. The Automotive Transformation Fund grant also helped reduce the capital expense of building a new electric drive unit facility by identifying where existing equipment could be reused. 
that one of the big challenges and opportunities is to reuse existing equipment and to be really clever about what we reuse and that really reduces the cost of investment. This is a huge change for the industry. Everybody's got lots of legacy equipment, lots of legacy facilities. They really want to make sure they're, they're still utilising. So understanding exactly what the product needed helped our manufacturing engineers to then say, actually, there's more opportunities here to use other equipment. Um, so we identified equipment from all over Europe and including Howard, and that made the cost of that facility much lower for us. As well as reusing existing equipment, the ATF grant helped Ford identify and procure cutting edge technology that will further improve efficiency. We're really proud of the fact that this is probably going to be um, one of the most efficient power unit manufacturing facilities in the world. Through the process of manufacturing engineering, we've really utilised virtual engineering tools, digital manufacturing engineering tools here in Howard. We've piloted some of the most advanced manufacturing engineering tool set here to create a really efficient installation process. The investment from the ATF and Ford has delivered a number of key benefits to the local area and the UK as a whole. You know, we've got over 500 jobs safeguarded here in Howard. A very significant investment. Our total investment will be something in the order of £380 million here in Howard. And that impacts all of the other businesses in the local area and wider in, in, the, uh, in the UK. The ATF grant and support of the Advanced Propulsion Centre was fundamental to the success of Ford's Halewood plant. To create the best opportunity for the UK and for Howard, the grant was, was really of fundamental importance to us. To find out more about the Automotive Transformation Fund and the work of the Advanced Propulsion Centre, go to apcuk.co.uk.